fourth grade boy is facing charges after accusations of sex abuse at school. Mm. Investigators say it happened during recess on a Charles County Elementary School playground. Seven on your side went to find out what happens next. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell just talked to the father of one of the girls involved who says the school is just not protecting his daughter. The father of a nine-year-old girl alleged to have suffered a sexual assault There's at the hands of a fourth grade boy on the playground at this elementary school speaking out tonight. Uh, the first couple of weeks were rough. She didn't sleep at all and she was having nightmares. He asked we not show his face to protect the identity of his child, but he wants people to know what he claims happened here at Gail Bailey Elementary at the end of October was far from child's play. He says it was three boys on three girls and included lewd threats and the man's daughter being pinned while one boy acted out an assault. Graphic, physical, um, the word rape was used. It was bad. And yet he says when the girls reported what happened, nobody at the school took it seriously. They received the statements, sent my daughters back to class with the boys. So he contacted the sheriff's office, and that boy is now charged as a juvenile with fourth-degree sexual offense, second-degree assault, and making a threat at school. He's been removed from the school, and the Charles County State's attorney says the focus for him will now be reform. A juvenile offense report is written by the police officer. The kid is released to their uh, parents, and then the process begins. For the dad, that isn't enough. He wants the principal and vice principal removed. He and one of the other fathers going so far as to attend a school safety town hall this weekend. The superintendent of schools promising staff will be retrained. I apologize to what, for what happened to your daughter and any other child in this situation because it shouldn't have happened. Now joining you now live at the school. Now that father says he understands that these boys are just children as well, and he wants the best for them. He knows that they may need some help if these accusations are true. And as for his daughter, he says he just wants her to feel safe at the school that she loves. In Charles County, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Brad, thanks for that. And